Michelle, Tiva, Wendy, Ash, and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys saw from the title, we're going to be going around the room and talking about our first times. But it's not like what you guys think, you sickos. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So I think we're gonna sit in a circle and um I kinda wanna go first with my story. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I guess I'm going first with the volunteer. Okay. I wanna give you guys something juicy. I think I'm gonna talk about <laughs> Ooh. I think I'm gonna talk about the first time I kissed somebody. Ooh, is that juicy enough for you? Damn, juicy. I'm ready for it. How old were you first? I was a late bloomer. <laughs> so I was 16 years old when I got my first kiss. 16. I, I feel like that's pretty old. I don't think that's old. that late. You don't think that's that late? No. I think it's late. Mine's like compared to like these girls nowadays, yeah. I was going to meet up with this guy and um, honestly wasn't expecting to do much with him. I honestly thought that we were just going to hang. Um, but he obviously intended something more. I do remember taking the bus to his house. And first, I just want to say, don't don't go anywhere for any guy. Like, I was about don't to say ever that. do that. I was Make 16. Them Make them come to you. I was 16 at the time, and I was like, oh boy. So solid yeah, Marissa relationship advice. Yes. Another point. Something that I learned <laughs> when I was older. So. It was early in the morning. Again, I had no idea what his intentions were until I got there. So I get there and I'm like, hey, I'm outside. Are we leaving? And he's like, no, I'll come up for a little bit. And I'm like, what are we coming up for? Like, it's, it's like, it's, it's early in the morning. Like, what? Don't we got stuff to do, you know? <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 come upstairs. Uh, I want to show you something. And I'm like, okay, you know, like, what do you got to show me? So I go upstairs, and as we're walking up the stairs, he's like touching me, putting his hand on my ass, touching, How feeling over my leg. He was my age, he was my age, he was 16 as well. He was feeling on me, he was feeling on my leg as we were walking up the stairs. And that's when I guess I figured I, I kind of had a feeling like what his intentions were. But I still went with him, and that's when he told me to go to his room, and I was like, uh. Uh, I'm good, like, are we gonna go somewhere? Are we gonna do something? And he was like, no, I just want you to come in my room, but I wanna show you in my room. And I was just like, I was already like, no, like, I need to get out of this house, like, right away. Like, I just knew from that point on, stranger danger, I need to go, you know, I need to get out of there. But, I ended up going to his room. No. <laughs> I ended up going to his room, and he's like, okay, uh, lay on my bed. And I'm like, uh, you know? <laughs> I'm just like, okay, no I game. really need to get out of here, right? No game. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I really need to get out of here, I'm thinking, but I laid on his bed, and he gets on top of me, and he kisses me, like, with no warning. He just kisses me, because honestly, that's what guys do, honestly. They just go for it. Yeah. And I wasn't ready, and I was 16, and that was my first kiss. But literally, as soon as he kissed me, I was like, I have to go. I have to leave. I have to go right now. <laughs> I really have to go. And then he's like, no, you just got here. You just got here. And I'm like, okay, but I have to leave. Like, I got somewhere to be. He was like, what you mean? We had the whole day. And I'm like, no, I have to go right now. <laughs> I have to go. And he was just like, okay, fine. So guess who never got a call back? <laughs> Basically. Uh, oh, enough of me. Enough of my first time. How will you tell us about your first time, Ash? So I'm going to talk about the first time I got embarrassed. So I was talking to this guy at summer camp. We were 11 or 12 years old, really young, just like puppy love, whatever, and he had messaged me on Facebook. And <laughs> I got number and then we called each other. Wait, how old did you say you were? 11 or 12. Oh, okay. you're like, pretty young. Yeah, 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 Wait, yeah, Facebook yeah. was invented by that? Yeah, it's been out for over 10 years. Yeah, you were. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You met him on Facebook. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I got his number. We were talking on. And this was when, like, the landlines was popular, like, back then. Ancient. Cord phones, you know, all over the house. So I had one of the phones, I was talking to him. We were talking some nasty ass shit, like, you know, <laughs> some sexy, like, 11, 12. You know, year old say. Like, what do you know that 12 year old say? I'm gonna I'm stop that ass. <laughs> and we were talking about like some nasty stuff, and so after I'm done, I'm like, talking to my food thing. I go back to the, uh, I go downstairs, put the phone back on the hook, and I saw my dad, and 
there basically oh. he's lying on the floor smiling at me with another phone he's listening to the conversation the entire time oh. are so, you serious i was so embarrassed like i didn't even like say anything like i didn't even respond i just walked back to my room didn't talk about it at all i never had the sex talk with my own parents so i'm pretty sure he's like how does she know about all of this <laughs> <laughs> so wow. yeah, that's the first time i was embarrassed so what do you what do you remember about your first time okay well my first time was breaking my bone and it's gonna be my last wrist i think i was in like the summer of fourth grade going to fifth grade my dad was with his cousin who came from Mexico so we went to the park and I was on the monkey bars and I was like a fat little chubby Mexican oh, kid oh. yeah <laughs> and I think I got like upper body strength so on the fucking bars I go one two three four and I guess I couldn't reach this or I didn't have enough momentum so I was holding myself up with one arm and then I fell but I literally fell on top of my left hand so when I tried getting up I really couldn't move my arm so when I was getting up, I used all my strength to get up on my right arm side. And I got up and this part of my wrist kind of like, I don't even know what happened, but it tore from the ligament socket oh. or whatever. I should know this, I'm becoming a medical student. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it literally popped out. This was still attached. So this was all here. All oh. the skin was like hanging with oh. it. And the thing it didn't tear. I think I might have been. That's what I was about to say. Like, oh, how did you not cry? <laughs> so I'm, I can't get up. Well, I got up and I'm like, dad, dad, dad. So I'm calling them. And then my dad finally comes and he like picks me up. And I'm like, hmm. All set. So I went to the emergency room. I had surgery, they put like a little screw in here. So when they took off the cast, they took out the screw with it. How long did you have the cast on for? I don't even remember, but it was purple. And yeah. everybody got to sign in on Yeah. No, actually it was a summer, so no, I didn't have any friends in the summer. Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's how I broke my bone. When was your first time? So one of the very first times I got drunk was freshman year of high school. I was about 15 years old and I was at my friend's house, there was about five, six girls. Her parents were out of town and we got our hands on some alcohol. I think we were drinking some Jameson and we were very lightweight because you know, we just started out drinking. So a few shots and we're just running amok all over this house being crazy wild girls. And we were running in and out of the house to the garage because the garage was fancy and had multiple floors. How many floors did it have? It had like a main area and then there's like a little like loft area in the garage. And it, was, it was cool, wow. yeah. Okay. And they Back had a cool house and leading up to the house there was like a wooden porch and like stairs going up to the door and there was a obvious wooden panel and one of the steps missing and anyone would clearly, you know, just step over it, but this is not the case with my turned ass. <laughs> I just zoop a doop a doop right into the <laughs> area that where it's like missing and I'm like halfway flailing, like my <laughs> leg is in the porch, like I'm like I like begging my head. You're literally out. part of the house then, right? Yeah, literally. It <laughs> was I was so embarrassed, but it was just so funny. But I was also in so much pain afterwards, and I kind of in like shock. And afterwards my thigh was like all black and blue and I was so bruised. It was really bad. But that night was just a crazy night. That was just one little like and you guys that black and blue reminder yep. to show you. I had the, you know, battle wounds <laughs> to prove it. How long did it take to heal? I think probably like two weeks. Really For your first time. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I had a really fun time featuring my girls in this video. I'm gonna put all their social media, Instagram, Twitter, all that in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me that thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this craziness with me and my girls, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Friday. I will see you next week for more videos.